They want justice. They want the police to do something. They, they're fed up with it. How many people watched the television and saw Jimmy Savile? And they've been made to suck him off and had sex with him as little kids and saw him with arms around celebrities and, and all that and would have smashed the TV up when they saw it. Mm, no, there was no justice for them and it was a cover-up at every level. So they want justice. So they come to someone like me and they say, John, we want justice. I'm going to give you, not not a drug dealer, not not a, a you know, a heroin dealer or, or anything like that because I just see them as my medicine man. I'm going to give you a child rapist, the man who raped me. And some of these people were still operating in the care homes as priests, as scout leaders. They were still doing it because they'd mm -hmm. worked with impunity for so long. It's and then, crazy. And it, birds of a feather flock together they were amongst yeah. their own. Because that, that's what I would say. So, you know, like uh, you'll see these pictures, as you said, Jimmy Savile, he's got his arm around a bunch of celebrities. Obviously, we're not, we're not physically saying that the people that was with him have 100% done it. Well, I'm not anyway. Um, but would you say that the likelihood is is that they would have been aware of his of actions course. and what he's doing uh, and probably uh, a part And of I it. want to cover that in a minute, actually. Mm. Uh, this cognitive dissonance because it, it benefits them to say nothing. Yeah. And of course, look what happened to me. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. And they would have got the same. And, you know, people have got to protect their income. Yeah. You know? But then uh, sometimes you've got to have morals as of course. well. You and, need someone like and you this, to just this say. this is going to be the point. Yeah, even me, say. myself, sorry, yeah. um, I'll let you finish. But like, yeah, me, I know there's certain rooms that you're only going to get to when you have to either A, take part in certain things. Sell your soul, or B, brother. see certain things. Yeah, yeah. as you said. Um, sell your soul. Sell your soul, literally. Yeah, otherwise you ain't joining that club. Yeah. And I can't turn a blind eye to certain No, stuff, no, so, yeah. I mean, it's the same with me. Mm. I knew, I knew for many years that Savile was a, a paedophile. I knew. You know, I had loads of information come my way about that guy. From how early? Um, about a good... I would say I knew... Um, he got exposed in 2012. He was dead by then, though, right? Yeah, yeah I knew in about 2005. Wow. He was a pedophile. Yeah. And that was from police sources, mm. you know, and victims. Um, I, I hear a lot. I heard a lot because we would sit, talk, and we would network. And I had friends that were on these investigations. yeah. You know, there's a footballer. Everyone thinks he's good. He's retired now. He's not. He's not good. He's not good. And it'll come out. It will come out. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, that's because that was the world I was in, you know. Yeah. And, we, and they always portray the arrogance of these people. You know, if you've done this, run away, curl up and die somewhere. Don't tell the world, you, you, you oh, know, what a decent person. individual you are. You're yeah. not. You're scum. Yeah. Well, and and this is a pride issue, right? This shows they've sold their soul because the, the fall of the devil was pride. Yeah. And this is what they're displaying, pride and arrogance. No oh, the opposite occurred. No because it's an establishment cover-up. Yeah, steep, And we're only going to hear about this more when these people more. die. Yeah. They, there's a thing called a D-notice, right? And, and it's what they put I've on the press that. to silence the press, mm -hmm. right? So... The things around Jimmy Savile, D notice would have been served. Things around Ted Heath, D notices were served. Leon Britton, the former Home Secretary, D notices were served. So they don't give out the information. And the other thing is that they put a, a, a block on it that nothing is allowed out for 100 years, 100 year rule. Yeah, so then by then. And the reason being, legally, a human being's life is 100 years. Mm. So anyone who's alive in 100 years is going to be dead. So there'll be no living relic testimony to what went on yeah. right so they can get away with it right but d notices are interesting so you say to people oh there's a d no they'll say there's a d notice on this well what is a d notice no one knows so i'll tell you what d notice is d stands for defense notice defense notice brought in by winston churchill in the first world war when he was in charge of the naval fleet and it was to stop members of the public talking about what was going on because of spies Right, loose lips sink ships was the saying, so it was illegal for you to whisper about the war effort. It was illegal; mm. you would be tried for treason if you did. And you can understand that because the spies were operating amongst us, and people were selling information, so you can't talk about it, right? So you get that, but it, it's a military intelligence tool. It's not for the civilian police, so it was brought in by the military intelligence. Now we've got two units that are operative. MI5 and MI6. MI5 are the intelligence agents that work on a homeland level. MI6 are on, on an international cross-border level. Right? 
and they operate the D-notices. So why, in a civilian criminal case of child abuse, child rape, child trafficking, child murder, yeah. a D-notice is being served? What has it got to do with the military intelligence? So what do you reckon is going to happen then with this um, current BBC presenter that they're on about? They're making a big deal about it. Uh, uh, what happens from here? Uh, well, again, um, criminally, what's he done wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if the lad is 17, still a child in the eyes of of, of the, the law. Um, uh, but if he's giving him money for cocaine, maybe there's an offence there for incitement to mm. um, uh, purchase Class A drugs, you know, incitement to, to buy drugs. So maybe they could have him for that. But then the victim's going to be interviewed. Now, the victim might have said, well, look, it's been going on for a long time and there's more. And of course, once he gets named, it, it's very coming, rare. Yeah. It's very rare that that's one the off. only one victim. Very rare. Yeah. I mean, the second person is meant to be in their twenties, so not going to have much yeah. with that anyway. They're, they're uh, grown. You know, but it's what they portray themselves as. You know, they look. I joined the police, right, and I did my service, and I didn't get in any trouble. And before I joined the police, I got vetted. And they came round and they, they visit you. And, and you've got to have no members of your family involved in crime. Mm -hmm. And you can't commit a crime. And if anyone linked to you, your children commits a crime, it's a problem. Right? And rightly so. You should live a righteous, clean life. But an MP can get arrested, serve one day less than a year's sentence for any crime and still keep their job. How's that allowed? That's crazy. And then so when you've got people here for the BBC, which is seen as a bastion of, 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 of transparency, you, you know, and journalistic excellence throughout the globe, and then they've got their lead presenter that's involved in procuring young boys for whatever reason and, and cocaine supply. Seriously? Yeah. You know, they're dirty. What are they doing? On the t no, no. No. Yeah, it's sad. And uh, as I said, it's, it's in front of our faces. These are the people that we watch, we listen to. As you said, some people idolise these people without even knowing behind the scenes what they're and doing. Do you well, know someone I mean? said to me when I've got an idea who this person is, and because uh, it's not public domain, so we can't mention him, but I, I, I sent it through to someone, look, I, it's this person. And they went, well, he's such a nice man. And I went, what? Well, how do you know that? You don't know these people. Yeah, for real. Jimmy Savile was a saint. He built hospitals. He saved lives, Jimmy Savile. Yeah, on one level. On another level, he destroyed many, many, many lives. Yeah. An evil, sick, horrible, vile individual. 